Hey, welcome back guys to part four of my Blasphemous 2 complete platinum and achievement walkthrough. So start with this one guys, we should be in the City of the Blessed Name. And we're just going to head into the uh, Montana Sculptor, head into his house and um, have a little chat with him. We're going to hand over all the tools which we have. You should have the Sculptor's Resonant Is Gavel, the um, Immaculate Mother of Pearl Gouge and the Silver Shell File. You can't get his tools out of order. I have mentioned it before. Yeah, no matter what one you get first, it'll always be the same one first. For example, a sculpture's resonant gavel. That will always come first, and it's always the same one, which is second, despite which one you pick up. So, yeah, once you gave him all them, guys, you want to go into your altar piece, and you want to place the purified one and the traitor in two slots together, as I just did. So, yeah, op open your altar piece of favours, and slot together the purified one and the traitor. They should balance each other out. And then come in here guys and talk to the confessor. Give him 500 TOA to purge your sins. Nothing comes free nowadays, not even confession. So yeah, pay him 500. That confess your sins. If you not died, then go and die. There's a trope. Some of the collectibles come from him. Some of the collectibles, but you have to confess your sins like nine or ten times. So that's why sometimes I'm dying deliberately. So yeah, and then come up here, guys. Talk to this sister mayor, the Cobbyard and mayor, I think she's called. And you want to give her fifteen hundred TOA, and you want to give her three thousand TOA, and then six thousand TOA. If it doesn't let you give her six thousand, it's because you've missed one. I've found six so far. You need six. Basically, when you collect a certain amount of sisters, I think it's two, four, and six, or something like that. But when you've got six, that will unlock the ability to travel between save points, which is what we need. And that's what I've just got. So yeah, if you did not, if you was not able to, guys, to buy, to give a 6,000, then um, yeah, you've missed one somewhere. But you shouldn't have, as long as you've been following me closely. And then all we're going to do now, we're going to warp back to the city. Or just make away there on foot. I didn't quite have enough further. That's why I just dropped down there and killed an enemy. And what we're going to do now, guys, is transport to the south to Mother of Mothers. Once here, I'm going to take this upper left exit. Now, if you switch to the sword and use the Crimson Ascension ability, all you do with that, you attack twice. Then on the third hit, you hold up and press attack. And you'll do that sort of um, sword upcut attack. Let's get a bit more height when you jump. And you double jump up to that. And look at that gold altar, guys. For one times MOM, a mark of martyrdom. Through here, into this room, just gonna smash that wall on the left. We're not gonna go through. You have to come into this room to discover it, so we're just gonna break that shortcut on the left while we're in there. Up here, look at that gold altar for another marks of martyrdom. Up here, past this teleport gate. Yeah, what we're gonna do now, we're actually gonna buy some weapon memories for the swords. We're gonna make it remember a few things. So you're gonna buy Determination for one MOM. You're gonna buy Mystic Striker for another MOM and Blessed Steel for two MOM. Then you wanna come in here and loot this chest for the Chime of the Twisted One. That's actually needed to gain some collectibles. That's why I've come in here to get it so early. So as we're making our way through the rest of the areas now, we can get the hidden collectible there called the Hidden Symbols. So we don't have to keep backtracking. So once here, guys, you're going to warp to the Palace of the Embroideries. Now throughout this area, use your daggers to um, kill any Red Maidens or any Sandbirds which you come across. Once you've got the trophy for um, killing 300 enemies with the daggers, you can switch to the swords. So another Red Maiden to kill. I think I might have got it already. I think I forgot. Yeah, in this room and break that shortcut guys on the left no need to head through just break the shortcut while you're in this room discovering it go back through the right exit and tell it about um, the right exit directly opposite yeah again we're going to kill any red maidens you pass and any sandbirds the red maidens are very simple enemy to kill other than the um chandelier they seem to love it yeah the candles they just stand in place nice easy kill Yep, 
Yep, so like I say, we're going to keep using the um, daggers until we get 300 kills. But if you have done it already, you can switch to your sword and start working on your kills for that. I used the Veredicto last because it's the best weapon. So once we get to it, we can just stick with it for the rest of the game. Right, make way through this room. In that previous room, do you see we hit that shortcut gate to... um. Not a shortcut gate, but a switch, and it made the chandeliers fall down like a little shortcut. So you've got a gauntlet here. Careful with these enemies. Remember, your um, slide and attack works quite well on these smaller enemies. These thieves in the cloaks, normally when you get behind them, they do like a spinning attack, so watch out for that. Yeah, in here. Kill the sandbirds. Break this top right wall. Drop down here and you'll find a hidden sister. That's it. Go back home to your mirror. That should be number 7 off 9. Yep. Come in here. To exit directly opposite you. Kill any of the sandy birds you find. Just ignore everybody else. Yeah, killing every enemy you come across is not... It will help a little bit, but it's going to be just be much more optimal killing them later. It's not like killing every single enemy is going to really change much. I mean, it might help you to get some MOMs a bit quicker. But... Yeah, not so much. It's much more optimal to just leave them. Later on, there's going to be much better farming spot for getting all your MOMs really quickly. So in here, guys. Save your game. And take the same right exit. Back in here, kill the sandbirds again. Use the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Please boost me up this wall. Yep, get that cherub. That should be number 14 of 33. In this room, just quickly dash past these guys. The little runts. Right, you need to quickly get to the left after activating that statue. This time door does not stay open for very long. Yeah, this is one of the stricter time limits. Quickly hit the mirrors to um, dart across, make way below the time door, and pick up this item. There'll be a gauntlet. If you need to, you can spawn the um, the spirit to help you. Obeidi. Obeidi off the um, whatever his name was. There we go. Right, well, guys, the veteran one. So that's for killing 300 enemies with the daggers. So once you have that trophy, you can switch to the sword and start working on your sword kills now. Or just don't, like me. I need to sometimes take um, my own advice sometimes. But yeah, I should have switched to the sword at this point. Right, once you killed them all, you should get that. The silver clad crystal shard. So in this room now, before you leave it, you just want to make sure you discover every map tile. Because this bottom right tile here, normally, yeah, normally wouldn't discover it if you just went to top left, went in that gauntlet room, and then went in this room down here. So yeah, make sure you switch to your swords, guys, if you've already got that trophy. So in this room, you want to enter, leave, and enter again. And what will happen, each time you leave and re-enter, pe the people that are sitting up at the table, it will switch between them both. And you want it to be the old man on the right who's currently eating his dinner. And you want to talk to him and you want to give him the cloth of the old woman. Yes, Dirty cloth of skid marks. Give that to him. I'm sure he'll like to sniff it later. Right, and then once you gave him the cloth of the old woman, guys, you should get the remembrance of Castula. Yep, come in this room. Yep, use some mirrors. You have to use the statue first to lower it, and then just keep attacking this mirror as it raises back to the top. And loot this chest, guys, for the Tempest figure figurine. And take the up left exit. Now, I do not bother about the shortcut gate for the time being, trust me. If you try and get a shortcut gate, you're going to fall down and have to go all the way across. But if you do it last, you will not have to go back at all. So yeah, just come to the top left exit. Pick up that item, it will trigger a gauntlet. Again, obviously I forgot to switch to the swords. Daft. Yeah, so I was trying to trigger the um, my buddy there to come and help me. With his Excalibur weapon. 
Yeah, later on we'll be actually equipping figurines, which are going to increase his damage a lot as well. So this guy gets even stronger later. You think he's tough now? Wait till you see him later. Not as strong as me, of course, but he gets pretty close. Yeah, so once you killed all them, you'll get one MOM. Well, no, not. You'll get an ornate chalice, definitely. That's the item which we picked up, the ornate chalice. Yeah, but that MOM was just from killing so many enemies. Obviously, building my gauge a little bit more. So you kill all the sand birds in this room, and now you can unlock the shortcut gate, guys. Because you can reach it from down the bottom. But the only way to reach the top left is to come in from the top right. That's it. Once you've killed all the sand birds, make sure you've discovered every tile in this room. Take the lower left exit. Kill the red maiden. Oh, finally switched to my swords. Finally realised what I was doing. Yeah, safety game. Right, if you haven't done so already, you need to die. This is only if you're not at 0%. Uh, sorry, only if you are at 0%. Yeah, so if you have 0% guilt, obviously you're too good and you need to um, commit some sins. So we're going to come up here and just get killed. This is so when we go to concede confessor later on, we can pay him to um, purge our sins. So yeah, after dying, I'm just going to get my guilt back. Because depending on how high your guilt is, depends on how much the confessor will charge you. That's where you want to try and keep your guilt. I mean, 2% is ideal. I think it I think it goes up after every 10 or 20 percent the cost to get it purged yeah so come in here guys hit that shortcut switch and loot the senior embroiders thimble from the chest yep that'll be figurine uh, sorry not figurine that's a rosary bead number four of 27 yeah so in here we're going to kill any red maidens you pass and of course any sunbirds yeah, so I'm just going to be using the swords now, guys, until I've got a trophy for um, killing 300 enemies. You can't slide and attack with this one, so try not to do that. It won't work. But this has a good combo. The three-hit combo is quite strong. And um, if you charge up that bar beneath your weapon icon in the top left... You can trigger Blood Pact, which makes you do a lot more mystical damage, like so. These blue guys, make sure you slide through the lightning. Don't try to jump through it, it won't work until you unlock Air Dash later. For now, you have to slide through it. So yep, yeah, and hit this strand of the cocoon guys, it should fall down. And now we're going to use that chime we got earlier, chime of the twisted one. It's going to make a hidden symbol appear. So yep, go into your press and that one there, Chime of the Twisted One. Yep, and it should make that symbol appear at the top, you see it? That white symbol. Once that's appeared, go back to your Mirabras prayer and warp back to the city, guys. So that's hidden symbol 1 of 10. Right, back in the city, we're going to go right and we're going to talk to Confessor. We're going to pay him to have our sins purged again. Yes, yeah, so if, there, if there's anything you need to get out, guys, do it now. Yes, we won't be coming back here for um, quite a while. So, yeah, once you spoke to him, we're going to go and climb down the far right ladder. We're going to go and talk to the Our Lady of the Chalices again, just to upgrade our flasks. Now, you should have two or eight chalices at this point. Do not give her both at once, trust me. First, come in here and sacrifice your blood. I said, just careful where you cut it. You don't want to cut like a major vein, so you, you know you won't be able to stop the bleeding. Just a little bit of blood in that chalice in the background, and then give her one ornate chalice. Give her only one. Do not give her both, and also give her the silver clad crystal shards. The reason being, if you give her two without, basically you actually have to sacrifice your blood in between each ornate chalice you give her. If you sort of sacrifice your blood only once but then give it two at the same time you will lose out on the increase your the sort of bonus increase to your hp later it's not needed for platinum but it's just going to be like a little bonus so yeah once you get a one ornate chalice and the silver clad crystal shard leave the room come back in the chalice in the back should be empty sacrifice your blood again and now give the second ornate chalice which you have
That's it. That's all we needed to do, guys. So now you want to walk back to the city. Yep, and we're going to warp to the southwest. Yeah, southwest safe point in the Palace of the Embroideries. So back here, what you want to do is first you want to stand up. You want to go right, kill any sandbirds you pass with the swords. And we're about to go and beat up the boss, guys. So if you have any sandbirds, give them a sword swipe or slash. That's it, drop down here. So as with all bosses, I always use the Veridicto to kill him. Because it's the best weapon in my eyes. And it recovers your fervor much quicker. So when you're actually using the spirit, when you're spawning him, it uses up almost all your fervor. But if you're using the mace, by the time he stops attacking, you should have recovered enough MP to summon him again. Yeah, this boss is actually quite easy, actually. Um, at this point in the game, with our current build. The attacks don't seem to do much damage. And yours do quite a lot of damage to it, especially the um, the sword guy, your spirit. I'm not sure if it's because she's weak to mystical or not, or she's just so weak. Regardless, you know. But yeah, should go down soon enough. Yeah, so as soon as your spirit stops attacking, you might want to, if she's below half HP, you might want to wait uh, just before she summons her clones. Because the sword spirit won't attack her clones and it's just basically going to waste the duration of your spirit. And you'll not be able to get and recover any further while her clones are attacking. Yes, these two clones will attack and your spirit won't attack these. So it's basically, if it's currently summoned, it's just wasting its duration. So I'm just going to wait for the clones and for the normal boss to respawn. Then I'm going to summon the spirit and I don't know why it's not attacking her. I remember this now, yeah, it didn't attack her. I guess, yeah, I guess no sports, I guess, he's too weak. He's an honourable spirit, this guy. He has no sins to be purged, only I do. Right, once you killed the lady, Lady Orispina, you get a trophy, blood and gold, black and gold. And, um, yep, be a little cutscene. After viewing this cutscene and talking to the MC to the far right, it should lower the lower city a little bit more. Yeah, you've been in dreams of incense. Yeah, just continue to the right. Talk to this little guy in her hands. Looks like a football that does. She gave birth to, um, I think she gave birth to one of them spiked balls back in the Choir of the Thorns. No wonder she looked in so much pain. Yeah, once you spawn back in, guys, you're going to go right and uh, loot the gold altar for 800 TOA. Yeah, so that's the second boss done. There'll be one more boss and then that, that floating city should be lowered all the way so you can access it. Yeah, loot that for 800 TOA. Come and talk to Anunciada, whatever her name is. I should just tell you to find the last guardian, something you already know, because I'm told you. Yeah, we need to find the last guardian, by the way. Yeah, come back through here. Kill the red maiden with the sword. Save your game, and we're going to warp to the east save point in the crown of towers. Right, get that cherub right above your head. And that should be 15 off 33. We're going to come in here. Now, throughout this area, guys, we're going to kill any ghosts and alchemists we pass with a sword. Because I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah, any ghosts and alchemists. That's the alchemist, the guy with the lamp. He'll try to electrify you. But we are wise to his attacks. Yeah, hit that bell to um, remove that floor on the bottom. Loot the chest for Liviana of the Blighted Blades. Yeah, good luck trying to remember the names of all these prayers. I tried. Completely failed. Let's call them prayer one, prayer two. Right, up here, we're going to take the upper right exit. Not the top exit, just the one on the right, but the highest one, this one here. In here, kill the spirits you pass with the beads around the neck. Don't ask where them beads have been. 
They were white before, but for some reason now they're brown. Yeah, through here. There's a reason that thing is a ghost. And it's got brown beads. Yeah, kill the alchemist. And then trigger the statue, guys, to move that platform to the right. Hit the mirrors. Quickly do the weight of sin. That's it before the platform goes back to the left. Yeah, grab that prayer. The Jabberbaidu off the green goo, whatever it was. Yeah, just make sure you grab the prayer. Oh, that's it. Jabira to the poison of jealousy. Yeah, poison can get jealous. Only in blasphemous. Yeah, loot this chest for the vetrified lightning bolts. Once you looted it, come over here. We actually destroyed a shortcut floor here earlier when we came down that lift. Yeah, talk to Medardo. Exhaust this dialogue and then leave his shop window. Not going to buy anything yet. Right, come left. Kill the spirit. Kill the alchemist. That's it. Kill this one again. What a shocking defeat of these guys. Kill them really quickly. Right, come through here. Kill this alchemist who seems to be guarded by three flames. But it will not deter us. Yeah, continue to the left. Kill the spirit. Don't worry, it does not upset that spirit that we use which we summon. They're not related, don't worry. Yeah, pass this teleport gate. Through this exit on the right. Don't forget to trigger that statue. I almost did. Oh, look, I just remembered. Silly little old me, eh? Yeah, raise that time gate and continue to the right. Almost at the end, guys. What are we about? Three minutes away? Yeah, so let's gold altar. That'd be one MOM. Kill the enemies you missed on your way past and your way back and along here and through the left and through the left again right kill any alchemist you pass as you make your way up no need to destroy that wall guys it, it makes little shortcuts but we don't actually need that shortcut ever I think that's the only shortcut I leave because it's just unnecessary because when you've got a double jump you don't need it at all ever so you're going to come down this lift. Yeah, it's going to sit patiently and wait for the lift to get to the bottom. Once it gets to the bottom, we're going to climb this wall on the right. We're going to jump really high and then hold down and press attack to break that floor. You're going to trigger the statue to raise all four platforms. You're going to quickly jump across before they lower. Jump on the wall and grab this item up here. This should be the scroll of the elder. Right, kill the spirit. Climb back up and go back to the elevator quickly before somebody else calls it up to a different floor there we go just in time yeah take it up to floor the third floor menswear that should be just up here right once you get up here just come to the upper right hit that v bell any rooms which i'm not going in by the way guys is because we either go in there later or at least it's something we can't access yet so basically the same, yeah, we're going there later. Yeah, so hit that shortcut switch. That'll lower that gate to the bottom. You're going to drop down. Drop down again. And then use the mirrors to get to the top. I'm going to get the unfinished lullaby. I'm going to kill the sword guy at the bottom. He didn't even see it coming. Right, straight to the top. Take the top exit on the left. The left exit, but the upper one. Come through here. Pass these birdies. Yeah, trigger that statue to lower the platform. So that you can break that wooden wall on the left. It's not wood. I'm not quite sure what it's made out of. But it looks like wood. And then once you've done so, guys, raise the platform back up to the top. It's going to need it to um, reach that upper ledge because otherwise it's just a little bit out of reach. Right, coming here, which is going to trigger the save point. There's a boss. Sorry, it's not a boss here. Or is it? 
I guess we'll see in the next video. So we're not going to be going in there yet. Yeah, you're going to press this to bring the elevator up to you. It is a boss relay, yeah. I'm just lying. Yeah, there is a boss, but we'll be doing that at the start of the next part. Part 5. Yeah, so down the lift. And then take the next lift. They could, could have just made it so this would lift went straight to the bottom, but no, they had to make a little halfway checkpoint where you have to swap elevators. Right. In here, guys, hit the shortcut switch to lower that platform. And get the unfinished lullaby up here. Right, and there's going to be a second hidden symbol down here. Yep, so you want to use the chime of the twisted one again. That is this one here. So yep, use that chime and it should make that number 8 appear. You see it? That number 8. That's a hidden symbol. So that's hidden symbol number 2 of 10. That's it. Once you trigger them and make them sort of illuminate, it'll be safe then. Even if you exit and go back in, it'll still be illuminated. I normally just wait a few seconds after lighting it. Just make sure it has saved. Right, you're going to come through here. Kill any of these spirits you pass. Keep taking the lower right exits. Now we're back in the quiet of thorns. Come down this lift. All we're doing now is going to uncover some of the other map tiles down here. And we're going to warp back to City of the Blessed Name. You hit that shortcut gate. There you go. Just uncover their map tiles. That's it on the east side of the quiet of thorns in that long shaft. Yeah, travel back to the city. And then that'll be it, guys, for that part, part four. Yep, save your game and we're good. Ready to go in part 5. Like I say, we'll start part 5 with a boss fight. And go from there. So thank you for watching guys. And I'll see you on the next one.